happen. This is practice run time live. Let's get down to business. All right, no more of that. What's up guys, my name is Lev. I am an ESTJ, as you can tell here. I'm making a video on the charisma style of ESTJs. This is only gonna be part one because there is actually a ton I can go over and I will be going over every single of the 16 personality types. But the very first one that we're gonna be touching on is the ESTJ because I have a lot of experience with that. Now, I am taking most of this and to give these people credit, because I didn't just make this up out of nowhere, but I am taking this information from both Charisma on Command and Chase from CS Shows Without Life, putting it together, and it's not, I'm not doing these hand gestures just because it's charismatic or anything like that, but no, literally, we're putting it all together, and we're gonna be analyzing the ESTJ's Charisma style. Why? Because Look, there's a lot of videos out there by Charisma on Command that are like, wow, amazing, like great. But the problem is, is that there might be too many of them and nobody really knows where to start. Like I could start watching Chris Hemsworth videos, but unfortunately Chris Hemsworth is an ESTP and I don't really want to be out there touching people the way that he does. He, he does it way more naturally and easier than I do. So why would I want to be doing that? Well. Why not analyze each of the 16 personality types, identify yourself, and then figure out a way to maximize your own potential. And first things first, let's get it out of the way. ESTJs, who are they? Well, they are direct initiating outcome. They are concrete, affiliative, and systematic. These guys are your middle managers. They are, you know what? They can be actually considered one of the most hated types out of all the types, but there are reasons for that. And we'll get to that later, but you have to understand, they have TE hero, they have SI parent, any child, and FI inferior. What does that make them? Well, sometimes the ESTJs can come across as people of too high of status and, and too pompous and too boring. Look at this, pompous, boring, SI, you know, these things combine. And then like they're all worried about the, how they feel and all that and their own self worth. So. What do you do in that kind of situation? Well, you want to learn and grow and adapt and learn from people like you, right? So let's get on with this. So first of all, TE Hero. I'm gonna go down the list and show you guys how this all works. Because the way you can actually maximize your charisma is by looking at your cognitive functions, how you communicate, and looking at the way that other people do it. So. First things first is TE hero. Now, TE, pretty smart people, rational people. They look at the entire package when it comes to looking at a situation, but it's also about status. TE heroes, they are the ones with the most amount of status. They are the ones that are always striving to be super high status compared to everybody else. But the thing is, is that do people really want to be around people of high status? and like always be under pressure with those people? No. So what do you do instead, TE hero? You gotta share the wealth. Why? Because here's the thing. Again, like I said before, you don't wanna be with people that are too much pressure onto you in terms of like, oh, I'm gonna be domineering and I'm, oh, I'm better than you kind of deal. No, 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 no. ESTJs, let go of your status and share the wealth. Let other people have status. Okay, you built up a reputation, right? You have a good reputation. Now, let it go. Let it go and let other people have the spotlight because frankly, you should appreciate the work that other people, your FI, should appreciate the work that other people have done for you to get you to where you are. So, you spread the wealth. You give your gratitude, you give your thanks. Don't worry, so now, share the wealth, give thanks, love yourself, okay? There's, you know what, you've made it this far, you gotta love and appreciate yourself, but you gotta love and appreciate others. That's what TE and FI, them two being linked together, you gotta realize, use your TE for good reasons. TE is there to, you know, look through things and research and then gather up all the information and then use your FI to then be like, this is good, that's not good, that's good, this is good, this is good, all that kind of stuff. Now, in terms of charisma, what do you do? Well, because you are such high status person, 
Don't be punching down on people of lower status than you and you can actually go and tease people of similar or higher status than you and it's going to be perfectly fine. It's actually quite charming in a way. In the sense of, well, and also don't forget to self-deprecate because it's okay. You're not, like, don't take yourself too seriously, ESTJs. I've seen you guys walking around and, like, you guys have such a serious face all the time. Relax. Take it easy. Like, we're talking about ESTJs, high-status people. You want to then, since you have been brought up to such a high status, bring up other people so that we can all have a lot of fun. And when it comes to yourself, it's okay to put yourself down for a little bit because you know what? You, you don't have to take yourself too seriously. You can have some fun. That's what TE is all about. And then of course you can punch up a little bit when it comes to teasing others and it'll be okay. Just know how to do it. Maybe not like in front of a boss or anything like that, but like in front of like some friends or celebrity and all that, maybe give that a go. Then people will appreciate you more. That's the whole point of charisma, right? It's like, well, it's also like you appreciate yourself, but then in turn, you're not necessarily doing that to necessarily get other people to like you. You're just doing this because it naturally comes to you. You are T-E-F-I, right? So you can let go of a little bit of status because it's not going to hurt you. That's your highest function. Now, moving on. So SI is your comfort zone, right? SI is also your past and, and like you want to experience good things, right? So first things first, when you enter into a room, when you go into a certain kind of event, you got to set the tone and let yourself be comfortable. Because if you are comfortable, if you get yourself comfortable, then you can relax and be more at home. Be yourself. Be in zen. I turned a burp into a zen. That is pretty zen if you ask me. Now, you got to you got to enjoy the experience that you're in. Get yourself comfortable. When you meet people, take the time to shake their hand, give them a bro hug. Uh, you don't have to be too touchy-feely. What I'm saying is just take it slow. Don't focus on what to say next. Focus on just enjoying the moment and also just getting yourself comfortable. And while you're also smile uh, while you're also giving a handshake, don't forget to smile. Okay? You you got to one thing about ESTJs that I, I am guilty of is taking life too seriously and not enjoying and not letting go of that TE hero and not getting myself comfortable. So now, using this, we got ourselves a chance to just chillax, let it go. And what does this actually allow you to, or what does this allow for other people to do? If you relax, they can relax, right? Because if you're in a serious you know mood and all that, Okay, your FI mood and your SI not comfortable, then the room also gets, you. look, it's all about creating the tone and the atmosphere in the environment that you are in. You got to be comfortable. You got to self-deprecate. You got to let yourself lose, be yourself, enjoy life. Then others can too. And if you can just do that, it allows other people to do that too. Like... SE users, SE users love to see that you are comfortable because it's like they, if you are comfortable, if they made you comfortable, they appreciate that and then they can be comfortable themselves. It's great. It's great. That's why they're attracted to you. One other thing as well that SE users love is reactions. Mwah! My God, do they love reactions. It's like crack to them. I've heard that from almost all, all the SE users that I have asked. They love it when you give them a good reaction. We're talking about laughing with your eyes like I am and, and just laughing at things that you love to laugh about or just like whatever you say, say it with fun, have fun with it. And when you laugh at another person's joke, it's like a compliment to them. It's like telling them without ever saying anything, you're funny, I like you. That's like, is, that's exactly what SE users just love to latch on to. Every single reaction that you give them. I'm not saying over the top. Be genuine though. Be genuine. Now, uh, look, when it comes to, oh man, I didn't even mention the celebrities that I'm referring to. I'm talking about David Dobrik's an ESTJ. George Clooney is an ESTJ. Barack Obama, Elizabeth Holmes. Now, uh, Elizabeth Holmes, I will explain why she's up there. And also, 
before I get into that, let me initiate another point of topic. Yeah, these people are ESTJs, okay? Why don't you guys go on csjoseph.life or their web, on his website or YouTube channel and go watch the typing and all that instead of like going on Reddit and telling me that you guys don't know, uh, you guys, they aren't ESTJs, they can't be ESTJs because, well, uh, they don't have the behavior of an ESTJ and Barack Obama's an ENFJ. Well, thank you for the compliment because uh, I like ENFJs, they're great. And uh, for Barack Obama to be like an ENFJ, yeah, okay. Sure though, yeah, like he, yeah, uh, like an ENFJ really cares about their status like Barack Obama does. Mm -hmm. Okay, but anyways, besides that, these are the guys that uh, Charisma Command, thank you again for referring to, uh, for me using this. These are the guys and girl that are ESTJs, that we have typed, that or that I have typed as well with David Dobrik. And so, what do these ha guys do? is that they do all these things. Except for Elizabeth Holmes. Elizabeth Holmes, on the other hand, is a narcissist. That's the bad side of the ESTJs. <sighs> when you initiate a new topic and you forget what you're about to go on to. Okay, 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 I got it. So, that's the thing. I was talking about SI. Now, David Dobrik, George Clooney, and even Barack Obama have a laugh and they and they smile and they love a good joke and all that you can see that in them and David Dobrik especially especially when he does this yo this guy's a sea geek guys oh my gosh like this is the easiest app ever he's like laughing throughout his own ad I mean like he laughs and it's contagious to other people when you laugh ESTJs when you laugh other people will laugh with you even if you're like telling a joke if you're telling a story and you're smiling as you tell it Right? Even like as I'm saying it, right? People will instinctively laugh and smile a little bit more because you are. Uh, wonder what that reminds me of. Huh? SE users, they tend to do the exact same thing. So it's it, by mirroring the SI user. You want to attract an SE user, which would make you super happy and give you so much comfort and all that and make you laugh all the time then you gotta laugh yourself. That's what attracts SE users to you. That is what makes you charismatic. That's what makes you wanted because the SE user, they just love to give you all the funniest moments and all the best kind of experiences they can possibly get because they can't just stop hearing you laugh and they love like the little giggles that you can make and all that kind of stuff. And there's just the everything, everything SI, SI reactions. Oh, oh man. Like even I, okay, because I think I'm more, uh, ISTP focused than I am INFP focused. Like I love to make other people laugh as well. And if I like, I fail hard. So look, the focus is focus on these guys right here. Then you can focus on whatever other side you want to go on to. But the main focus of this is to focus in on these four. Then you can focus in on like TI villain and then SC critic. And then you can go on to like the rest. Uh, I've been working my SC Critic off for good, and that's like to look good and also to make funny jokes and all that, and I have gotten better, but I'm not a pro, like an ISTP is, so which I'm just going to correct that very quickly. Now the point is, to move, moving on, is any child, so I've touched all a lot about SI parents in terms of reactions, but any is about giving people what they want. Now, I'm not going to get too in-depth with that. I'm probably going to get more in-depth with it with ENTPs. But any child, you got to then let yourself go in the background, as David Dobrik does in his videos, and let other people have the spotlight. Let them enjoy having the spotlight. Look, David Dobrik has, whatever, 14 million. I don't know how many million subscribers does he have. He has a ton of subscribers, okay? He knows that people want to have attention. Right? SE users love attention. And what does, who does he surround himself with? Other SE users. Jason Nash, uh, I'm pretty sure is an ESTP. Uh, but you know what? That's the thing, right? It's like give people what they want. Give people what they want and be, let them be in the spotlight. You don't have to be in the spotlight. Look, TE Hero and uh, SE, okay, yeah, like sometimes I want to be in the spotlight, but, but enjoy the experience itself any child give other people the chance to enjoy that moment of being part of your vlog and being part of your 
your atmosphere, your aura, okay? Because like Barack Obama does, George Clooney does, David Dobrik does, let them enjoy being party, like you're like a star to them. It's like, oh my gosh, right? Or like you're, you're made into a star. So if you give, like if you are an ESTJ and you have this like star kind of status, let other people be part of it. Again, it comes back to share the wealth. Uh, so now, FI. Okay, I was saying a couple of things before about gratitude. FI is very much about gratitude. Make sure to always thank the people that have brought you up because if you don't, they'll never, you know, do that for you. That's for FE users. You want to make sure that FE users like ISTP and ENFJs, they can feel good about themselves. Feel good. ESTJs, when you enter into a situation, your first priority should be to feel good. No matter what, go in there, enjoy yourself. Like, if you're not feeling good, leave. It's not a good situation to be in if you're not feeling good. Seek people that make you feel good and do good things. Do good things, that'll make you feel good. What does David Dobrik do? What does George Clooney do? What does Barack, well, I don't know, of what Barack Obama does now, but David Dobrik and George Clooney, what do they do? They do a lot of charity events, right? What does David do? David's like giving away cars to his friends and, and cash to other people and it makes him, he doesn't do this to get other people to like him. No, 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 no. You gotta understand, when it, when it comes to these kind of moments, when it comes to feeling good, it's not about getting other people to like you. It's about doing it out of your own heart and your own joy and seeing the joy in others. That's it. It's not about like you loving, getting love from others. Take this from yourself. This is from your heart. People, people want to see these functions. They want to see the introverted functions. Why? The introverted functions is the inner you. Don't let it be about your TE status and your any child. Don't let it be about that. I mean like, okay, sure, like any child wants to give balloons and candy and whatever and all that. But it comes from a place of you enjoy your experience. You give from the heart. That is your purpose, ESDJ. Like for when it comes to charisma, getting people to like you, eh, you know what? Don't worry about it. Be yourself by loving yourself. Love yourself and others will love you. So you don't even have to. It's like, it's almost like a paradox. It's like if you don't focus on fame, you get famous. And it's like if you don't focus on like... That's another thing I'm just gonna mention, I'm just gonna jump topics, is to slow down, okay? Slow down your thought process and when you are in a situation where it calls for high stakes scenarios, slow down and think things through, right? So I can think things through when it comes to what I just said, but I have SC critic, and so that means my short term memory is absolutely garbage. So I don't even remember what I just said. But the point is, I believe what I was trying to say is your introverted functions are what people love to feed off of. Give yourself for yourself. Uh, yeah, it's all about the paradoxes, right? So what I mean by that is your SI, your FI, if you don't worry so much about what other people think of you, and if you don't worry so much about what other people want, and you just enjoy the moment, love yourself, people are going to think highly of you, and they're going to just want to give you the best experiences, and they all seek your attention, and you give them what they want. So, okay, next, high impact, non-neutral words. Okay, so here's a big one. Don't be talking neutrally. ESTJs, you come across as very boring because you have SC critic, okay? The amount of times I've been accused of that is not fair. It's super not fair, I hate it. But, um, uh, but, but, but I was accused by that only of Chase, just saying. Thing. Anyways, so again, back to the SI. Do stuff that makes you laugh and you enjoy yourself. And I just like hit my nipple right there. Like I just literally, like it wasn't, it was a very accident. It was just like, and anyways, so high impact, non-neutral words. So you know those people, 
you know those people, they're the ones, they just like go on the computer, they go on the radio, or they listen to the radio on the, on, like they listen to the news, they go on TV, they watch the news, everything's sad, everything's pathetic and all that, and they just like live life like that, and then when they go to the scenarios in which they, you know, like with friends and all that, they're neutral themselves. Oh my god, I am just describing how sh I have been when it comes to like certain friends uh, about how boring I can be, but you gotta let yourself loose. Don't take yourself too seriously. Why am I burping a load? And um, you gotta you gotta enjoy yourself by using high impact non neutral words. What do I mean by this? Wow, this is gonna have to be cut. That's okay. So high impact non neutral words. I mean, like, like when somebody asks you how are you doing and you say okay how are you? No 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 no. Change that up. You're gonna say I am doing fantastic. How are you? <laughs> you know what? It, it's 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 kind of like you know a change of the emotional environment. The fi. You know what? You you're gonna go big and go bigger and bigger like. Trump always says, and, and Taylor Swift has said, like this big arena and all this kind of stuff. You want to make it big. And if you're gonna be asked the question about like, oh, how are you, to, or like, um, you know, how is how has it been since you, since I've seen you and all that, it's like, don't just give like a neutral kind of answer. Go like, talk about the things that make you feel the highest amount of emotion. Yes, this is what I forgot to mention when I was writing down these notes is, you gotta bring it out of you, right? The things you feel within you. Get that out. Like, feel it right there in your heart. Feel it in your chest. Feel it in your mind. Bring it all together. And only talk about the things that make you feel. Make you feel. Make you feel anything. Whether it's making you feel angry, pissed, or if it's making you feel like the best thing ever, talk about that. That's what people want to hear. It's just like, Whoa, this person is totally not like 99% of other people that I've been hearing. He's totally himself. He's enjoying the moment. He is like, whoa, he's so, like, look, don't get me wrong. I also have failed at doing this before. How? Because I would just say the most neutral of answers because I wanted to be completely correct with my TI villain. It's like, how am I feeling? I am fe I spelled villain wrong. Villion! <laughs> you gotta you gotta be high impact. You don't have to be high impact energy, but you gotta be talking about things that you wanna actually talk about in the sense of you wanna feel the emotion as you talk about it. It's like you gotta you gotta feel it through your heart. Like I even felt it like right now when I was saying that you just gotta feel it. Project what you just felt in your heart. Like if we're talking about Let's say it's the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Toronto Maple Leafs are doing like crap because they just can't get their shit together and you're just like, what the hell, I can't even stand this, this has been trying to feel that. It's okay, it's okay. But again, like if it's gonna be something like that, don't forget to bring it back to like a fun kind of setting because it's not something too serious because it's like if you are too angry, then it's just like, oh, that just really kills the mood. Everything will be okay. That's what you gotta remember. Slow down, love, and everything will be okay. Don't take things too seriously. Be yourself, be high confident, and if you're not around people that make you feel these kind of things, you gotta, you gotta find new friends. It really sucks under these kind of situations, but, uh, with the quarantine and everything, but everything will be okay. Be with people that help you be yourself. Like an ISTP, like ESTPs, like INFJs, like ENFJs. These people love everything you have to give. And they were still strive to make you, they, they want your status to be increased. They, they'll think highly of you. They'll give you a great experience. They're gonna get, they're gonna tell you what they want, which is great. Uh, giving them the freedom and all that, and then they want to absorb your FI inferior because it's delectable. Oh my gosh, I haven't even talked, I haven't even gotten close to one of the best parts of ESTJs 
The fact that these guys, these guys who think that they're such TE high status, macho people, like, oh my god, like, you can't mess with me kind of deal, like, tuck to the hand kind of deal. Ooh, they have that FI inferior. They feel bad about themselves all the time. But if you can let go, and if you can let yourself have those emotions, then you can be a nice fairy princess with the INFP. Okay. <laughs> but, um... If you be yourself, you end up in your subconscious. You end up being a happier person like David Dobrik and George Clooney. They become the INFP and people love it. Love FI inferior. Why is it that FE users call FI users cute? <laughs> INFPs are some of the cutest types, probably the cutest, ISFP is the next cutest, but then all of a sudden, this big teddy bear of an ESTJ with this plate of armor and all that and his shield and all this, his, his guard, lets his guard down. He becomes, he or she becomes the INFP and they become the most adorable type possible. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They become a kid again. Yeah. The parent becomes a child. And like, like these kind of thing roles swap. And it's just like, it's, they, they get into their zen moments, they become like Keanu Reeves, and they are like so thankful, full of gratitude, creating new morals and all that, creating like new philosophies and all that, and it's beautiful, and, and people, and the epi users, they just eat it up for days, and they just like, they just love it, but you gotta love yourself first for other people to love you. Does that make sense? Does any of this make sense? Last but not least, um, and I, I guess I really should talk maybe more about like what is it what does it actually mean to be cute, but I'll leave that on a separate video maybe. Last but not least, do things you love to do. This might be the most critical thing. It's not about you loving people pleasing. Don't do things because you want to please people. Do things because you actually love to do this. So. As an example, I don't expect to get any sort of revenue from this video, but I would like to help other people, not from a ple people pleasing perspective, but see the perspective of things from an ESTJ about their charisma. To be, and also to help them become a better version of themselves because, well, I benefited from these kind of tips and tricks and all this kind of stuff. and. I would like to see that in other people and for them to be comfortable. And I don't want them to be the most hated type out of all the uh, types in the, in the typology, MBTI, socionics community and all that. So, look, if you're gonna do things, do things that you love to do. Like David Dobrik, okay, yeah, he might be a bit stressed with the work that he's doing, but he genuinely loves doing this every single day, every day. He does a vlog and he's just editing the next day and it just like keeps making this and I keep freaking screwing up this marker. And then, okay, so, do things you love to do and then people will love you. Do things for others to get their love, they won't love you, okay? It's all about being yourself, love yourself, know yourself. That's how it, it, it literally comes down to that. So, what do I suggest for you to do? One, grow a pair, grow up. Two, don't take yourself too seriously. You only have one life. Three, start enjoying things more. Let loose, laugh at the stupidest things because it's, it's a, life's a lot more fun that way. And give back to the people that have done you good. Share the wealth and laugh with your eyes and set the tone and self-deprecate. And if you can't self-deprecate because you don't love yourself, then just relax, enjoy, let things happen. Okay, that was take uno of my video. Hopefully that was within time. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, it was in time. So, I want you to like this video. I want, it, I want you to slow down for a second in your mental mind and I want you to slowly like the video, click. 
I want you to subscribe so you can get more content like this and more about all the personality types. I want you to comment down below what you thought of this video. I want feedback. I want you to criticize me because that is what an ESTJ should do is he should ask people for criticism. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell notification if, if there is one and thanks guys. This is only part one. More to come. I enjoyed doing this even though I'm a little bit tired now. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Okay, I, I really like that.